Hi everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be speaking to you about three signs to know that your deceased loved one is communicating with you. So especially if you've lost someone that you dearly miss, um, how do you know if they're communicating with you? What are the three exact signs? And I'm also going to be telling you in the end um, how to know if this is safe and how to 100% know that it's authentic as well. So the first sign that a deceased loved one, I have some points here, so I'm just looking, um, that a deceased loved one is communicating with you is that they communicate through your dreams because the dream state is when we are most relaxed and we are sort of open to anything coming in without our judgments and without the mind sort of blocking it with its judgments and um, analysis and stuff. So it first just receives and then you can do the analysis later. So that state is more active in our dream state. And um, that's why... Uh, beings that want to communicate with us non-physical beings they often choose to do it through our dreams even sometimes friends and you know people who want to communicate with us will hear their telepathic thoughts like their thoughts telepathically we might receive it through dreams um, but if you wake up with a dream and you have this deep feeling this feeling of warmth that your loved one has shown up um, then then it's probably a message from them so the second thing is that um, you are constantly shown items related to this loved one. So something that belonged to them or perhaps things that um, com that connect you to them. So like an activity that you used to do with your grandparent and um, something about that activity keeps showing up and then it reminds you of that grandparent or you miss them um, somehow. Um, or an object again that belonged to them or something they gave you. So things like these when they keep coming up and you think of that person, then again, it can be a sign that they're communicating with you or they have some sort of a message for you um, or they're just helping you to integrate, you know, this loss that you had. So the third sign that um, your deceased loved one is communicating with you is when you just get this feeling out of nowhere. It's like you weren't thinking about them. There was nothing emotional or family related happening, but suddenly you think of your grandparent or whoever it, whoever it is that's deceased. And um, it's just out of nowhere and it's just like that fills you up um, with the, either a sense of knowing or even it can be a sense of missing them and nostalgia, like this overwhelming feeling basically, knowing that they're here. Um, so that is a sure sign again that they are communicating with you. Um, and I want to say now in the end that the reason that, um, you know, deceased loved ones communicate with us, the only reason is because they want us to integrate the loss that we had because we're still attaching to a sense of loss um, somehow maybe and sometimes it can be they can act more like guides as well so they'll have direction for our for our life and this and that but um, for the most part um, it's because you know they are they're helping you to process so the the number one sure sign to know if uh, that this is real is that if the dream you have or this knowing that you have or how, however it comes to you these signs if it leaves you um feeling more integrated and like you are able to release them further than when you began then that's how you know so for example if it leaves you in a state of oh my god i lost this person i'm missing them even more and then you keep crying about it and everything then that is not uh that's probably not a communication from somebody who loves you, you know, and who uh, cares about you because in the energy realms, anything can present itself in any form, um, you know, it can look a certain way, they can say certain things, but that doesn't mean it's real. It has to feel like it's right. So um, the only way to know that this is authentic is because um, even if you cry because often when we have a dream or we think about our loved one who's passed on we'll cry and um, get emotional but it will leave you in the end like a like a sense of oh okay I integrated like I feel better about the whole thing it won't be a, an attachment like where are you oh my god you're gone so it won't leave you with that feeling it'll be integration that happens so that's how we know that that's real and that's the only way that it's actually healthy as well um, if you're feeling anything else like codependency and stuff, then it's time to um, let go of those cords. And let me know if you want to watch a video on letting go of cords, then I can perhaps make that on how to do that as well. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my course called Open Your Intuition, in which I teach you how to communicate with all forms of life. Um, whether it's people, it's pets, you know, using telepathy, opening up all of your intuitive senses um, so that 
your intuition is just very very open i teach you how to communicate even with trees and with nature um how to interpret dreams and um protecting yourself even from from negative energy there's just all kinds of things in this course and it's a really exciting very creative course with one and a half hours of video and ni a 90 page workbook which has creative exercises so please check out the link in the bio and let me know what kind of a video you would like to watch from me what subjects you're interested in and i'll see you in the next one